faith, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive this sacrifice at thy hands to the praise and glory of his name, both yours and the of men of all this holy church. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. <clears throat> Almighty and ever living God, while thy holy apostles taught us to make prayers and supplications, and to give thanks for all men. We humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations, and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who confess uh, do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word, and in the unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice, to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. The grace of the Father to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence, they may hear and receive thy holy word, duly serving thee in always and righteousness all the days of their life. And they most humbly beseech thee thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. We remember especially Shane, our primate, Joseph, our president, Kimberly, our governor, Alex, Barry, Leo, Albain, Casey, Charles, Craig, Deb, Deborah, Donna, Eric, Karen, Kevin, Kyle, Leslie, Logan, Louise, Lucille, Mason, Megan, Melody, Michelle, Miranda, Norma, Pat, Patrick, Priest, Paul, Rachel, Rex, Rising Sun, Sandy, Sandy, Sarah, Susan, Subi, Tamara, Teresa, Thomas, Travis, Joaquin, our U.S. military, especially Edmund, Jason, and Joshua, all victims of terrorism, and Gretchen, and starvation around the world, peace and justice in the world, and an end to the rust of the Ukrainian war. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy service departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching you to grant them continual growth in thy love and service and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Ye who can truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and our love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his only ways, draw in there with faith, Take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God, the Godly Name. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge to be well our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by God, word and deed against thy divine majesty. Provoking most justly in our wrath and indignation against us, we were to repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us, the burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all the past, and grant that we may hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honor of thy name. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Mighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of His great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto Him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. It were comfortable words our Savior Christ said, and of all truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are related, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
It was what St. Paul said, this is a true saying, worthy of all men to be received. That Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. It was also what St. John said, if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. supper he took the cup and when he given thanks he gave it to them saying drink ye all of this or this is my blood of the new testament to shed for you and for many for the remission of sins do this as often as you'll drink it remembrance of me Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants to celebrate and make give before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts, which you now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. We most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us. And with thy almighty goodness, God's sake, to bless, sanctify, 
with thy word and Holy Spirit, these I give some creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice, praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching you to grant, by the merits and death of thy Son Jesus Christ, to faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain the mission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. Here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, your reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching me, that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, may one body with him be made well in us, and we in him. Remember also, O Lord, thy servant and handmaidens, come before us in the sign of faith, and our rest in the sleep of peace. Please, O Lord, and we all rest in Christ, we be seated at a granite place of refreshment, light, and peace. I'll take you in on what some portion of fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicitas, Petua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, with all thy saints, within this fellowship we beseech thee to admit us. And although we are unworthy for our manifold sins, to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, and command these our oblations, and administer thy holy angels, be brought up with thy holy tabernacle before the sight of thy divine majesty. Not weighing our merits, pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. By whom and with whom we receive the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now it's our Savior Christ who commanded and taught us. We are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done.
not presume to come to this thy table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy name, all the great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table. But thou art the same Lord, who brought of you is always a murderous mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be cleaned by his body, and our soul washed with the most precious blood, that we may ever more grow in him, and him, and not be in us. Amen. God, go and take away the sins of the world.
the living God, we most heartily thank thee for the doubt of sake you feed us, who have duly received these holy mysteries, with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And just assure us that by thy faith and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate the mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed God of all the faithful people, and we're also heirs to the hope of the land and kingdom. I am the Lord, to the most precious of that Christ. In other words, you see, you are my Father, so to assist us in thy grace, that we may continue in our holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk on. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, so we need the Holy Ghost to be a heart and glory. Lord, God, Amen. Amen. As often as you do eat of this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, Whosoever shall eat of this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let's pray. Make us, we beseech thee, O Lord, be filled with the everlasting fruition of thy Godhead, which is foreshadowed in this, in this life by the reception of thy precious body and blood. Who with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit live in the reign of God, world without end. Amen. Let's pray. Pray we seek to O Lord, do we who have been satisfied with thy bounty may receive grace unto salvation, and never cease from thy grace. Almighty God, we trust all who are dear to us, thy never fail of care and love for this life and the life to come. Knowing that thou art doing for them better things than we can desire or pray for. Through Jesus Christ, our Son, our Lord. Deliver the reign for thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Peace of God, which comes with all understanding, keep your hearts and minds with the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and be with you always. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And with the Spirit. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. There was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate, full of sores, desiring to be fed, with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and left the sores. It came to pass the beggar died, was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he left up his eyes, being in torment, and seeing Abraham afar off, and said, Cry, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. Yeah. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence, you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou would send him to my father's house, for I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto them, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they persuaded, be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Part of peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 